Y'all, I can't do no pranks. I already have it in my body. There's nothing I can do at this point. I don't need nobody in my business. Hey y'all, it's Ebony. Welcome or welcome back. Hope y'all are doing okay today. So I guess I'll just get right into this because I didn't try filming this so many times and y'all, I'm tired. So this is gonna have to be the one because yeah, I don't know how many more times I can say. Hey y'all, it's Ebony. Welcome or welcome back. Hope y'all are doing okay. <laughs> <laughs> y'all, I'm tired. I guess I just wanted to do a quick video and catch y'all up on some things since I did not post a video last week. Um, First, I'll just let y'all know some things that I've done to my place. I recently got a patio set. Me and my bestie, we took a trip to Ikea and I got just a little three piece set with a table, two chairs. It was 50 bucks, so I was happy about that. Um, I don't plan on doing too much to the patio. Um, that's kind of the last thing in my mind right now. As long as I got something out there, that's fine. I plan to, you know, actually spend some time out there once um, it warms up a little bit more. Actually, I do know one thing that I wanna get for that. I wanna get like a, they had these um, privacy screens that you could put in the little balcony. I wanna get one of those because my patio, the way that our patios are faced, they, they all kind of face each other. So like our buildings, are basically like in a square on the outside and there's a big square in the middle our patios are on that in that middle part so all of them kind of face each other i want a little privacy screen because i don't need nobody in my business mm -mm. but um i also got a snake plant and a little pot from ikea um if you watch my first video i believe I mentioned that I did not want any real plants because I killed one of my plants before. I got a plant and it did not survive with me and I feel very bad about it. But I wanted to try, you know, my hand at this plant life again. And I wanted some real plants in here, not just the artificial ones. So I thought, let me do a snake plant. It's simple, low maintenance. So I got that and that little pot I thought was really cute as well. Again, that's from Ikea. And um, I think the plant was like maybe seven or eight, something like that, 10, I don't know. And the pot was six. And when did Ikea start selling real plants? I know they sold artificial plants, but when we went this past weekend or week, they had real plants. And I'm thinking that's a new thing because I've never seen real plants in Ikea, never. Let me know if they have real plants in the Ikeas in your cities and if that's a new thing or not. Cause I, I don't remember them having real plants. Um, I also got some pompous grass. I ordered some pompous grass off of Etsy and I just wanted to fill the vases that are in my place. And the pompous grass, um, I ordered it on the 11th of April and it came to me on the 24th of April, I believe. So it took a little minute, but it's here now. Um, it's okay, I, I like it. I eventually wanna order some more, but I wanted to just get a few pieces first just to see if I was gonna like them and to see if they was actually gonna ship to me because y'all know like Etsy and stuff like that. Sometimes you gotta proceed with caution if you know what I mean. But yeah, y'all, that's really about it. I do want to get like a new bed spread for my room. I wanna get, you know, some more stuff here and there, but I'm giving myself time. I'm not in any rush to do anything because yeah, it's all on me and I'm not trying to, you know, spend money I don't have. Um, I guess I'll let y'all know another thing. I recently got my second vaccine. I got that last week and um the second shot it was worse than the first like they say um i definitely had the soreness again i got i had that with both shots but the second one um that's when i actually felt like very very fatigued i was very tired after that like the second day very tired um i had a headache all day um and I, I felt a little sick but it wasn't nothing like um concerning and i feel fine now i'm happy i'm vaccinated please 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 y'all don't come in the comments with no craziness i don't need it i already have it in my body there's nothing i can do at this point so i don't need to know anything about it please leave me alone <laughs> yeah this video really doesn't have much of a purpose i'm just here to talk to y'all to catch up a little bit um youtube has been very 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 hard i've tried filming a few different 
times. I tried filming last weekend, this weekend, today. I've tried filming a few different times, but it just doesn't, it, I feel like every time I film something, it does not come out right. And that's very discouraging and you, you know, set certain expectations for yourself and you're not able to achieve them. It's just a little discouraging, but I'm trying to get back into um, a certain mindset for me to film and a certain mindset for me to approach this YouTube thing. Because in reality, I don't really have... Um, Cert, I don't really have a vision necessarily for my YouTube. Eventually, I do want it to become profitable because I think that would be cool to make, you know, um, another stream of income from YouTube. So I'm looking forward to that. But as far as like, you know, long term goals and stuff like that, I don't really have any right now. So I'm just trying to take it one day at a time and be as positive as I can be about this platform and this new hobby of mine. So. I'm just letting y'all know where I'm at. It's hard to come up with ideas, y'all, because you don't want to be inauthentic, but at the same time, you want to create content that you know people are going to enjoy. So you try to follow, I guess, the trendy videos and stuff like that. But y'all, I can't do no pranks. <laughs> y'all, I can't do no pranks. No, no, I'm not doing no pranks. No, y'all not, listen. I'm gonna leave that to the channels that do that. Couple stuff, not doing that either. Me and my boo, we share our life in private. Um, I may show him on the gram every now and again because I feel like it, cause that's my baby. And sometimes I just be wanting to show him off cause he be looking good wearing them shirts for me. <laughs> but we not doing no couple stuff like that. At least not right now, that's not my vision. And like pranks to me personally is a little cringy. I don't like no pranks. I think that's for the kids. I'm gonna leave that to the kids. And like, yeah, so I'm trying to be authentic to myself, but it just gets hard. Cause I'm, you know, even though I'm still new and there's, you know, certain videos and topics that I haven't even touched yet, which I could, I just want to do what feels right. And you know, it is just hard sometimes to think of things that, feel right to me, but also would be interesting to someone who's watching. So I'm just letting y'all know where I'm at with things. I'm taking it one day at a time. Hopefully I will have some new comp content coming soon. And I do want to be on a regular consistent um, schedule. Sometimes it's just hard with work and then also coming up with the ideas is difficult. So just bear with me. I hope that y'all are in here for the long haul and we can create something fun together. And um, yeah, but just don't hold me to anything is all I'm trying to say. <laughs> I guess real quick, just to end this video on a lighter note, what shows have y'all been watching? I just finished watching um, Real Housewives of Atlanta, The Reunion. I just finished watching Married to Medicine. Real quick, follow up about The Real Housewives of Atlanta Reunion. I don't know what switched to me, but I'm starting to like Kenya now, and I know she's the villain. But Drew getting on my nerves. I used to love Drew at the beginning of the season, but she getting on my nerves. Kenya, I watched her and Candy speak on it, and I really like her now. I feel like Kenya is, I feel like they paint her out to be a villain, but I don't think she's that way in real life. Um, and then also on Netflix, I've been watching, what is that show called? Behind Her Eyes on Netflix. Um, I'm on, I... Either I'm on the last episode of the season or the second to last episode. Either way, please don't spoil nothing for me. But Miss Louise is getting on my nerves. Louise, you're getting on my nerves, sweetie. <laughs> Louise, ma'am, mind your business. I don't know why she, after um, she got fired, I don't know why she just didn't chuck the deuces. You know what? She shouldn't even allow it to get that far. After she bumped into, um, what was her name, Amelia? Katie, what is her name? After she bumped into the wife at the, you know, on the street and they went to coffee and stuff like that. At that point, she should have been looking for a new job. <laughs> like Louise really just set herself up for failure and she keep digging deeper and deeper into this hole. And I'm like, sis, 
what's wrong? Like, I, I'm really mad that she's going on a scavenger hunt and an investigation, digging into something that ain't got nothing to do with her. Louise, cut it out, sis, please. Like, she's getting on my nerves. Y'all, I finished the final episode, and when I say plot twist, that show was good. I am impressed. And I'm also watching The Circle, and um, I'm glad that Savannah went home because she was getting my nerves as well. She had a little bit too much bark for me, the way that she was coming at Tara Leisha. At the end of the day, I'm rooting for everybody black. And the way that Miss Savannah was coming at Tara Leisha in that chat, she was getting a little bit too spicy for me. So I'm glad that she went home. And I'm mad at um, Courtney because Courtney, sis, we supposed to be rooting for everybody black. And I feel like, I feel like you ain't helping us. So I'm looking at him sideways. Um, I'm surprised Lee is still there. <laughs> Cause Lee really be, I feel like I would have been able to, det to detect that River, AKA Lee is a catfish. Cause Lee be sounding like he about 60 years old. He do not be sounding like a 21 year old, however old he set up River to be. And, um, I guess that's it. Those are the only ones that I feel like talking about. Please don't spoil that in the comments either because I'm only on like episode four, I think, right after Savannah went home. I don't know nothing else yet. So just give me a chance to catch up, y'all. But yeah, y'all, I ain't really called to talk to y'all about nothing. I just wanted to chat about a few things that's been on my mind and check in and say I'm here. I hope y'all is still here rocking with me too. I hope that y'all have a great week and hopefully this video is not too dark because the sun went down y'all and i don't know how this is gonna look but yeah i hope that y'all enjoyed this video and that you subscribe and like and leave me a comment if you feel so inclined to do so but yeah y'all until next time peace